Hey everyone, it's Kenya Stump, Root Rise Yoga. Today I thought we'd talk about a practice that is totally on the floor or laying down. Uh, I was challenged by my mom this week to create a practice that her and my dad could do um, first thing in the morning uh, before they get out of bed. So ideally this practice is one that you would do um, while you're in bed uh, but you could do it um, you know on your mat first thing in the morning obviously I'm going to uh, go through the practice today on our mat um, but you can imagine the same sequence uh, in bed uh, before you get up in the morning this is great um, for as I said um, waking up and uh, getting your day started off with a little yoga also, if you're recovering from an illness or you've been in bed a while, this would be a great way to introduce some movement um, as you're recovering. Um, it's uh, inspired to be a practice that can be accessible uh, by all uh, different types of bodies and abilities. Um, it's easily adapted and as we move forward, uh, forward in the practice, just remember that these are all choices, choices that you have during the practice. Um, you feel free to um, listen to what choices uh, resonate with you and uh, feel like they're bringing you more into um, balance and work with uh, your body on that particular day or that particular time. So let's get started on our uh, morning um, wake up sequence or lying down in bed sequence. So let's let's see what we can do. So let's get started. Uh, I'm on my mat today, um, but let's imagine that we just um, woke up. So we woke up, we're awake, um, it's morning, and um, we're in our bed. First thing to be aware of is your pillow and the rise of your pillow. So as you can see on my mat, um, the quarter folded yoga blanket that I have doesn't have that big of a rise. So it's gently supporting my head and my neck and it's just grazing the top of my shoulders. If you're in bed during this practice, you may have to adjust or remove your pillow or find a pillow that doesn't have um, that much of a rise. We don't want our head to be crunched uh, forward with our chin kind of nestled up against our chest. That's not really an ideal position um, for us as we're moving forward uh, in this practice. So we're awake. And first of all, let's um, just kind of check in. What do we sense in our body? And we may start with a few small movements of just rotating our ankles and our wrists. And then we'll rotate the other way. And we'll spread. Let's explore and spread our finger and toes wide. And then squunch our toes and fingers together. And then spread everything wide. And then just settle in. Eyes are open. Let's take our finger in front of our, kind of in line with our nose, uh, in line with our nose in the middle of the, between our eyebrows. And we're going to have our eyes follow our finger as we move to the right, up above our forehead, over to the left, 
down, almost below our chin, over to the right, up, over to the left, and then we come back to center. Let's take our palms together and rub them vigorously, create a little bit of heat, and then place your palms on your eyes and enjoy kind of that latent warmth sensation and then have the palms just melt down the sides of the face, down onto your torso. Now that we've kind of gotten our eyes moving, let's spread our eyes, eyebrows wide, mouth wide, almost like a big yawn, eyes, mouth, everything's open and wide. And then we're gonna scrunch everything, you know, close your eyes tight, lips pursed, and then we relax everything, eyes open. And we settle in here. When your next inhale comes, and if it feels comfortable for you, we'll bring one foot to the flat on the mat, and then the other foot flat on the mat, about hip distance apart. Knees are about a 90 degree angle, and this is our constructive rest pose. We'll place our palms on our bony hip points, fingertips, uh, touch the top of our pubic bone to form this triangle. And we're gonna look down and just see if that triangle is on the same horizontal plane. And just check in there. We'll slowly just, if it feels comfortable for you, just settle into this new position. Eyes are open. And on your next exhale when it comes, make a sounding exhale. And we'll be using the sounding exhale throughout the practice. We'll make a shh or a whooshing sound and when that sound occurs it 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 almost creates a little bit of deep core engagement between your hip points and you feel uh you may feel um, a narrowing or a uh, narrowing of the hip points as you exhale a cinching action on that sounding exhale. So when your next exhale comes, we'll make it a sounding exhale as we raise our head slightly, rotate it to the right, chin over the right shoulder, place the head back on your low pillow or blanket, And we'll breathe here. When your next inhale comes, we'll make it a sounding exhale on that next exhale. And gently press your head into your blanket about 20%. Breathe here. And at the same time, bring some focus or attention to your left shoulder and tuck that left shoulder blade down and back, almost as if you're tucking uh, a pair a wing or a pair of wings uh, in toward your spine. So that left wing, tuck it down into the spine, lower tip of the shoulder blade moves to the hip.
And then if you haven't already, release any downward pressure. And just breathe into this space. And let your eyes float up and to the left. And we're going to hold our eyes up here, up and to the left, for about 30 seconds. As we let that head um, feel the support of the blanket or the pillow, eyes are up and to the left. And you may notice your chin drops a little bit more over to the right shoulder. And when you're ready, bring your eyes back to center where it's gently gazing over your right shoulder. When your next exhale comes, we'll lift our head, come back to center and check in to see how, how the right side feels compared to the left. Inhaling, and then when your next exhale comes, sounding breath, lifting that head with some Cinching action, rotating to the left, tucking that right shoulder blade down and tucking it, the right tip down into the spine, moving it down toward the hip. And when your next exhale comes, we'll press our head into the blanket about 20%. Still continuing to breathe. And at the same time, we'll move our eyes up and to the right. Noticing any sensations, tension, relaxing the hands on the torso, letting that right shoulder blade drop down. Eyes are up and to the right. We're continuing to gaze up and to the right. You may notice your chin drops more to the left. Or you may not. Just keep your gaze up and to the right. And then when you're ready, bring your eyes back to center as it gaze over the left shoulder. You may notice one side's a little bit more cranky than the other side. Release the head. When your next exhale comes, lift the head, come back to center. And at your own rhythm, just take your head, inhale, exhale to the right, inhale, center, exhale to the left, inhale, center, exhale, right, inhale, center. Let's bring some focused attention to our breath. So let's place one hand on our pelvis, one hand on our chest. So right hand, I have my right hand on my bony hip point of my pelvis, left hand uh, over my heart. And we're first gonna bring some attention and breathing into my pelvis into that right hand. Feeling, noticing any experience 
expansion, front to back, side to side. In the pelvis, you may notice as the breath moves into the pelvis, uh, it also descends down into the mat, down into the back side of your pelvis. You may notice a rising front to back, left to right. Now let's take both hands to our ribs, wrap our fingers around our low ribs, thumbs to the back, fingers to the front. And we'll bring some focused attention on the inhale to our hands. Notice any movement that you feel in your hands, potentially a front to back rising and side to side expansion, low ribs may descend down into the mat. And then finally, let's bring our fingertips up to our collarbones. Thumbs kind of rest at our armpits, and we'll bring some focused attention to this area with our breath on the inhale. Exhale. And you may notice uh, your index finger may fall in what we could describe as kind of the eyes of the heart. Notice on the inhale if there's a gentle, maybe expansion as the eyes of the heart open up. But also as the back of the heart, the back of the chest descends down, front, back, side to side. Maybe an expansion even under the armpits. We'll place our hands back to where our left hand's over our heart, right hands over our pelvis, and we'll breathe into all three spaces and see what we sense and notice happens um, in our bodies. You may notice a simultaneous energetic force downward all the way through your feet into the mat and a rising all the way out through the top of the head on the inhale. In a gentle condensing as your hands move to navel on that sounding exhale. You may notice the hands move apart on the inhale as the pelvis tilts forward, chest moves backward. And if you would like, you can add a little bit of exaggerated movement to the pelvic tilting, noticing how the entire spine moves on the inhale and exhale. Play with your body's movement on how this feels for you. Make your movements as big or as small or start off small and maybe move bigger. When you're done with that exploration, let's find your Pelvic neutral, your neutral position where your pelvic triangle is on that same horizontal plane, a little bit of lumbar curve.
And in our next movements, we're going to focus on this cinching and of the exhale through our sounding breath, but also add a component of as if we're zipping up a pair of jeans or pants. So we'll cinch on the exhale and then provide that zipping up as well to provide support for our spine, pelvis, low back uh, during our next movements. So when your next exhale comes, make it a sounding exhale as the knee rises right over the hip. Foot is flexed, toes to the ceiling, very active foot, knee resides over the hip. Keeping that cinching and zipping, the left arm extends overhead. On your next exhale, elbow comes around the side of the body, almost down to the navel, but to the side. All fingers are spread and active. And on the inhale, we'll extend both arm and leg, active. Exhale, cinching and zipping as elbow and knee move toward the navel. Knee never goes past the hip, stays in line with the hip. And at your own rhythm, inhale, stretching long, exhaling, cinching and zipping down. Inhale, long, exhale. Inhale, long. And on the exhale, we'll come back to our starting constructive rest pose. We'll inhale here, exhale, check in, see how the right side and left side of our body feels. And on your next exhale, cinching, engaging those lower abdominals as you bring your knee over hip. Elbow comes up, fingers pointing uh, toward the back of your bed or mat. And then on the inhale, we'll stretch left leg forward, right arm back, toes are active. Exhale, cinching and zipping, sounding breath. Everything comes back toward midline. Extending on the inhale, active feet, active hands. Low ribs stay in contact with the mat. Back low ribs. Inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling, extension, exhaling, coming into center. Foot and arm comes back down to torso of the mat. We're back in constructive rest pose. Let's take our hands all the way out to the side on an exhale, opening up wide. We've exhaled, inhale, eyes of the heart, shine forward, exhale, cinching and zipping as our arms cross, and we give ourselves a nice big hug, sounding exhale, inhale, arms out, shoulder blades down to the mat, exhale, reverse the cross, give yourself a nice big hug. Inhaling, arms come back down, palms up to the ceiling. On your next exhale when it comes, Sounding exhale, cinching and zipping as we raise both knees to um, over the hips. Feet are active, 
toes to the ceiling, toes spread, shoulder blades up, down, and back, cinching and zipping. Inhale, stretch the legs out. Exhale, back to 90 degrees. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're going to add some arms here. So bring your forearms to the mat, pressing forearms down, shoulder blades down and back. And we're going to inhale, pressing arms down, extend legs up as far as comfortable to you. Exhale, arms reach for the ceiling as uh, low legs come back down to that 90 degree angle over the hips. Inhale, opposition, arms come down, pressing down into the mat, toes to the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale, extend, arms down, press into the mat, shoulder blades down and back, tucking in those wings. Inhaling, arms stretch up to the ceiling as knees are over. Hips are still 90 degrees, feet are flexed. So at your own rhythm, just work this opposition of reaching, pulling, reach, remembering, cinching and zipping, and low, back low ribs, stay on the mat, shoulder blades stay tucked down and back. When you're ready, bring one leg to the mat, other leg down to the mat or your bed in your constructive rest pose. Hands lay on the torso or down by your side. Let's wake up our hips just a little bit. So some playful movements here, wiggle a little bit. Maybe do some hip circles, add a little playful movement. We'll, on an inhale, exhale, cinch and zip, raise your knees to hip height, hip level, in line with your hips. Straighten your legs up and shake, shake, shake. Shake your legs, shake your arms as if you're shaking water off of your feet and your hands, just to add some fun movement as you shake, 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 shake. Keeping that abdominal engagement as we bring our hands and feet back down to the mat. Checking in with your body, how you're feeling. On an inhale, exhale, we'll stretch our left leg long, toes to the ceiling. And we'll just settle in here. Left toes are active. Checking in with our shoulder blades. Might need to adjust your pillow or your blanket under your head. Exhale, we'll cinch and zip. We'll raise the knee over our hip. Um, feet are active, toes to the ceiling, engaging all of our toes um, and, all, and the heel. So big toe, little toe, heel. And then we're going to um, Externally rotate, so knee moves, we rotate, kind of knee moves out to the right as the inner ankle of our right leg, the inner ankle shines 
almost to the ceiling. So we're thinking about um, shining that inside of our ankle kind of up and to the left to the ceiling. Toes are active as our hip externally rotates. Ankle shines up. Keeping that cinching and zipping. Left leg is slightly bent knee, toes are active. And let's play with that movement a little bit of stretching the left leg long with a slight bend and then bringing it into that external rotation. Inner ankle shines up. So inhale, straighten to where it's comfortable, rotate, extend, rotate, inner ankle shines up and to the left as that right hip externally rotates. When you're ready, bring that back down to the mat. Slide on an exhale, left leg in, back into constructive rest pose. Slide the right leg long, toes to the ceiling, knees slightly bent, feet are very active, um, base of the big toe, pinky toe and heel, extend forward. Inhale on an exhale, we'll cinch and zip as we bring our knee over our hip. Base of the big toe, little toe and heel are active on both feet. Keep that cinching and zipping as we externally rotate the hip as the inner ankle of our left foot shines up and to the right. Check in with your shoulder blades. They may have crept up to your ears. Bring those down and back. You may want your hands up for this and maybe, um, maybe up in a spiral. Spiral your hands, fingers. So arm spiral externally. Hip, left hip is spiraled externally. Inner ankle shines up and to the right. Inhale, everything rotates and extends. Sounding exhale, ankle shines forward, arms rotate, pinkies inward, thumbs outward, shoulder blades down and back. And play with this at your own pace of Inhaling, extending the leg, bringing the arms back down. Sounding, everything externally rotates, pinkies in, thumbs out, inner ankle shines up and to the right. And when you're ready, Everything on the exhale comes back down to the mat, sliding that right foot in, into our constructive rest pose. So let's do, um, check in with our neck again, and let's just do some gentle side to sides with our neck. Play with pressing your head back down directly into the mat. As feet press into the mat, about 50% release. Feel how the backside lights up with engagement as you press feet, arms, 
back of the head into the mat on the exhale. Release. And on the inhale, let's pretend we're lifting our arms up off the mat, but we can't. Lifting our feet off the mat, but they're stuck. And lifting our head off the mat, but, but, we're, but it's stuck. And on the exhale, feel the front part of your body light up. Maybe, maybe not. But as you try to lift your whole body off the mat, but it's kind of glued down. And about 50%. And then release that. Let's bring some symmetry back into our hips. Place your hands kind of on your inner thighs and we're going to press into our thighs, into our hands as if you have a block between your thighs and you're pressing into the block, but you're pressing into your hand. Now bring your hands to your outer thighs and we're pressing into our hands, outer thighs. Now see if you can place your hands on the top of your thighs and you can press out and in at the same time. So a little bit of symmetry back into our SI joints and our hips and pelvis. We're going to move into a final twist before we close our practice today. So find your constructive rest pose and on an inhale Bring your knee over your hip, both knees over the hips, cinching and zipping, feet are active, arms are out to the side, palms up, low ribs are still in contact with the mat. Inhale on the exhale, cinch and zip as knees fall to the left about 45 degree angle. We're going to firm the low left side of our belly. So firming the lower part of the abdominals on the left as our chest, rib cage, torso moves a little bit more to the right. Right shoulder blade descends down and back. Firming. Belly firms to the left. Torso moves to the right. Maybe your head moves to the right as well. Inhale back to center. Reestablish knees over your hips. Engage your abs on the cinching and zipping. Exhaling, knees drop to the right about 45 degrees. Feet are still active. Belly firms to the right as your left, as the torso moves to the left, rib cage moves to the left, as your low belly firms to the right, left shoulder blade descends down and inward to the spine. Head may or may not move over to look to the left.
So at your own rhythm, play with exhaling knees to the right, 45, inhaling center, exhaling to the left, inhaling center. And when you're done, bring your feet back to the mat, reestablish your constructive rest pose. And let's just take some time to do some head movement side to side. Rubbing our palms together, generating that heat. Maybe turning ourselves. So kind of just giving your body a little movement back and forth with your feet. Like churning butter, except you're kind of churning your whole body, rubbing our palms together, generating the heat. Finally, waking us up. Everything moves to stillness, hands over eyes, hands descend down. Everything stretch, stretches long. Inhale. If it feels right for you, big inhale, kind of full body inhale, three dimensional inhale. Exhaling, bring your feet back in, shift the hips to the left, roll to the right. And then we'll come back up to sitting, or if we're in our bed, we're up to sitting and ready to start our day. So that's a, it's a pretty long sequence, but it's a good sequence I think you can move through as you become more familiar with it. You can really start to play with it, take as long as you want with it, or um, move through it maybe at your own pace, what feels comfortable for you. Um, that gives you an idea of what you can do um, in the bed lying down. We went through everything from uh, spinal twisting to uh, balancing, hip opening, a uh, little bit of, um, you know, uh, pelvic tilting, cat-cow work with our shoulder blades. A uh, little bit of um, inversion there to uh, help us um, kind of get things going in the morning and some chest opening. So I think you'll find we cover just about everything in that, in that sequence all while lying in our bed or lying down on our mat. So I hope this gives you some ways that you can access yoga even if you're, you're not able to stand or are not able to sit, um, things you can do lying down just to really help you um, come into your body and uh, find ways uh, that uh, feel comfortable for you and choices um, that you can um, adopt or not, depending on how you're feeling on, on any particular day. So again, I'm Kenya Stump. Uh, with Root Rise Yoga. This has been your morning wake up practice. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to uh, email me um, any questions you have and I look forward to practicing with you again. Namaste.